13 inch MacBook Air Model A1369 Wi Fi and Bluetooth card replacement. This applies to year 2010 and 2011. Make sure that the Mac is completely shut down. Close the lid, flip it over. We'll be removing the 10 screws that are securing the back panel to the unit. We're going to need a proprietary Apple's star-shaped pentalope screwdriver bit. Starting in the top left corner, remove the small screw first. Now, the next two screws in the center, up top, are slightly longer than the rest of the screws. Just keep an eye on them. Once you remove them, set them aside and remove the remaining eight screws. With the screws out of the way, go ahead and gently lift up on the back panel and move it out of the way. Locate the battery connection, lift it by its tab and wiggle it left to right as you pull on it. Here's the Wi-Fi Bluetooth card right here. Go ahead and uh, pop out the antenna cables that are just uh, clicked into it. Now go ahead and remove the T5 screw. It's securing it to the logic board. Now you can go ahead and start lifting up the card. Lift it up from the back and then wiggle it back and forward as you're trying to pull it out. You kind of have to tilt it about five degrees. Reassembly. Insert the card in at an angle and just tuck it all the way inside the slot. It's keyed so you can't get it wrong. Go ahead and secure the T5 screw. Now for the tricky part, tucking those cables in, I'm sure you're going to have lots of fun. You basically align them over the socket and then just apply a little pressure until you hear it click. Once they're clicked in, you can smoothly turn them a little bit left to right and they won't pop out so you know that they're good. Gently reinsert the battery back into its socket on the logic board. Make sure it's firmly in. Place the cover back and secure the cover with the 10 screws. Put in the two longer screws and the top middle first and then you can screw in the remaining eight screws that are shorter. This concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it very helpful.